so the the China campus um, has been set up in the year of 2004, uh, two years later than the Malaysia campus. So that's why we are able to offer this one degree from the University of Nottingham in one same language. All the courses were conducted in English. And after graduation, any graduates, no matter which campus they are studying, will be granted a degree from the University of Nottingham. So um, one thing to share with you is that we've been recently awarded a gold award in the teaching excellence framework um, since we're all Nottingham. And it's not us telling you that we offer exactly the same education quality, it's because we also have um, the accreditation from the Quality Assurance Agency um, have been this confirmation saying that the academic standard and the quality of the student learning experience at UNNC are equivalent to those of the home university. And uh, we've also been awarded international and the sports in terms of how committed we are for internationalization and providing uh, excellent sports opportunities for our students, according to the Times and Sunday Times um, University Guide. So several selling points for um, the students, for the agent uh, co-workers, that we have been um, selected as the, the, the University of the Year in terms of the graduate employment because many of the students and parents would be seeking for work opportunities after graduation. So this is something we can give them confidence, say, well, you can see that our graduates are really popular among employers. And also that English is the medium of instruction, which gives them the sense of um, internationalization as well as same standard as our home university. And according to the recent QS World, QS World Ranking, We've been ranked to the 82nd worldwidely, which has been um, consi consistent and in a consecutive years um, at, at about this rank. And the one thing to make sure of this is happening, the, the same quality thing is happening is that our academic staff are seconded, either seconded or selected according to the Nottingham standard from the whole world. So they come from many different backgrounds, but they all have teaching experiences in a multicultural university or environment. Okay, next slide. Okay, uh, now we're talking, going to talk about China. So why would they come to China for a British um, education if they have the option to go to the UK? So here are the reasons. Okay, Ningbo, um, it's not such a famous uh, campus, uh, famous city compared to Shanghai or Beijing, but it does have its own advantages. Because top, first of all, we had been back to the top third in terms of income and the job, job growth, um, according to the business of cities um, by Jones Land. It's, it's a research body. And then it's also been ranked to the safest city um, for public safety index. And we also provide direct flights for um, travelers if you want to go to domestic or international destinations from Ningbo. We have direct flights to, to Korea, to Japan, as well as um, Thailand. And uh, of course, we have connection flights to in, in, um, inland um, cities in China, like Beijing or Xi'an or Chongqing, all the main cities. So um, talking about ourselves, the China campus itself, well, we have been accepting students from um, tier one, tier one, top tier group of students, high school graduates in China, meaning that only six, top 6% six of the high school graduates in China has the chance to get into our university. And also we now have nearly 8,000 uh, students on campus. Although majority of them being Chinese, we, we have uh, about 11% of them international. So it's a perfect combination of local students and international to make it make, to make it a really inclusive and uh, diverse uh, campus. And then next, to show you a little bit more about what kind of um, students or the future classmates that our prospective students from uh, coming through you might be meeting with. As I was saying, we recruit only the top six um, 
top students from China. So you can, in, you can see that in the past nearly 10 years, the admission score for our Chinese students has been climbing all the way to nearly 100 points above the tier one selection score, meaning that our students, the classmates of our prospective students, they are the really um, top students, but coming from a comparatively stronger economic background families because of our tuition fee. The usual high school, uh, usual universities in China, the tuition fee is only about well, five, six thousand, while our tuition fee now is um, 90,000 for Chinese students. Okay, so um, this is about after graduation because of the, um, the degree of our universities from Nottingham. So the degree has been recognized worldwide by any universities, top universities. So it's very popular for our graduates to go for further study after graduation, which takes up about 70% of the host graduation body. And uh, employment, yes, we, some of our graduates just go to work right after they graduate from our bachelors. Mm, they are particularly popular among those joint ventures where English will be used as a language, as a tool for communication in workplace. And then you can see the uh, percentage of the students um, going to different types of companies. And uh, we also have this um, global alumni network as the overseas campus of the University of Nottingham. Uh, we have 18 alumni branches across the whole world. So joining Nottingham China campus would enable the students to be connected with all those um, alumni network as well as um, the university, university connection. So next is about the wife budget for families because I'm, I am um, aware that um, in some of the countries, most of the students need to consult their family for budget support. So roughly, um, well, our, our annual cost to include everything is about uh, 164,000 RMB, Chinese yuan in total, um, to cover all the tuition fee, accommodation, living costs and everything. So the tuition fee itself is about, uh, is 110,000 um, Chinese yuan. Accommodation is guaranteed and it's on campus. Um, and the cost is only about 16,000 per the whole year. Well, everything you see here is on, the an, on an annual, annual basis. So you can calculate um, and make it very simple and easy for the parents to understand. Okay, so now currently we have uh, more than 100 partner universities globally. So coming to China wouldn't limit them um, in this country only, but in the Ravas, we will give them the opportunity to be accessed to, be accessed to other countries and good universities um, in different corners of the world, including popular destinations like the US, Canada, European countries, as well as some, um, some good universities in, in locations like um, Mexico or um, Korea as well, as well as um, places in Asia. We also have partner universities in Malaysia as well and uh, Indonesia, to be honest. And we all, so here, here are the programs and the entry requirements. Here, we, we have um, slightly, we want to explain a little bit about the degree structure is because we offer this preliminary year entry, uh, which is similar as foundation in the UK. So students coming from, for example, Indonesia, they can apply to us with SMA um, at, at the required um, um, score. And it takes about four years in total for them to finish the whole bachelor's. Why? We also have this qualifying year entry, which is uh, same as the year one in the UK, meaning that students doing A-level or any international qualifications like Ontario or um, SAT, they can, they, can, uh, come, they can join us as a, degree, as a university degree student directly, just as in the UK, taking only three years in total. We also have, we can also accept um, year three entry um, if, if the student has already been studying in uh, a, new, a British university or we, they can transfer into our year three or even year four if the, uh, the modules matches with our um, 
uh, modules provided. So it depends. Uh, it depends on the student's qualification that we can provide both three-year and four-year program. Um, there are a lot of different options for students, including the short terms of exchange and study abroad. Um, and as for the degree programs, we have one plus two, two plus two, three plus zero, or four plus zero programs, depending on students' qualification, as I just mentioned about. And then, um, well, we have the undergraduate programs um, provided by three different faculties, including um, not, uh, business, as well as humanities and social sciences and engineering. So these are the um, study areas of um, different programs in different faculties. Um, so you can see that we have finance, accounting management, international business and international management, as well as language, um, different language options. If any international students would like to learn Mandarin, this would be the option for them. For example, international communications provided the option with a second foreign language of Chinese, or alternatively, they can also learn Germany, French, Spanish, or um, um, what's the, yeah, these languages as part of the degree, meaning that at, after graduation, they will receive this degree certificate, showing them that this is the, the student in this program, but also have a certain level of language to, 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 to be used as an add-on for the students. Engineering has a lot of different study areas covering aerospace, architecture, mechanical, civil, computer science, as well as electronic, mechatronic, mathematics, and uh, many other. So the detailed um, list of the programs available for undergraduate students, um, we can refer to the guide for the international students we prepared for the students and agents. We also have postgraduate uh, programs, although a little bit limited compared to the bachelors, but still covering the areas of entrepreneurship, finance, investment, international business and management, and uh, applied linguistics, TESOL, international studies, international communications and education. And there is only one, um, one engineering master's program um, in the area of BIM, Building Information Modeling. This is also one of the increasingly popular program um, in, in construction and uh, engineering. So one thing really uh, appealing for the students and parents is that many of our programs are, had been accredited by third body, especially this is the EQUES is for a business school. And we also have um, CIM, CPA, and also other accreditation bodies accreditation on our engineering programs. So this shows a little bit more about ribeyes for architecture. Yeah, and also we have this um, institute, institution of, of mechanical engineers for mechatronic programs. Yeah, so the mission procedure, uh, well, the, um, the entry requirements would be various depending on different um, countries. After the, the mission procedure, I will mention more about that. So um, to kick off, to start the application procedure, uh, you don't need to wait for, the, for everything to be ready. What you need to do is to include these four documents. One, application form. Two, transcripts till now. It doesn't have to be the completed uh, transcripts, but, uh, but only what's been available till this moment. Personal statement, tell us why and how, and wh what's the reason for, for you want to be part of our university and why would the mission tutor would like to, should accept you. And also password copy. These are the four documents required to kick off the procedure. Uh, you can simply just um, include all the documents as email attachments and then send it to our admissions team. I've put the, um, their e email address here, international underscore admissions at nottingham.edu.cn and then send it simply and they will start the process. Of course, we would be also looking for uh, documents like your degree certificate, your complete transcripts, as well as your re recommendation letter from one of your teachers. But those can be submitted later on. It's not required at the very beginning. So the deadline would be by the end of next May. However, I wouldn't recommend you to wait until that moment to submit the documents because all the admission for our university will be on a rolling biases, meaning that the earlier you submit your documents, the higher possibility we would be able to accept you. So as for the entry requirement, the general entry requirement is um, 
like um, we require international biraculum at 30 points and also we can accept a level average on a bbb requirement we can also accept sma and uh, um, qualifications in different countries just let us know what's the detailed um, transcripts the student has and we will be able to give recommendation alternatively you can also visit our website we have listed some of the um, key resources countries that in detail of the requirements for our preliminary year, qualifier year, and uh, masters. So scholarships, that's one of the most important part for the international students, I believe. So available scholarships for next September entry. Well, mention a little bit more about the September entries because we don't, we don't have many entries per year. We have one entry only, which is in September. Okay, so available scholarships as um, for new students. You can see that we have, the first one is for European, Eastern, Central and Eastern European countries. And then the second is for um, those who had previously had any family member ever studied in any Nottingham campus. We can then provide the 10% discount. And the important ones are the Nottingham Global Scholarship, which are offering full, half, and also a quarter scholarships for students um, interested in and, uh, ex and uh, um, excellent in terms of, of their academic performance. So Ningbo government and Zhejiang government, these are the five, five scholarships that we would require the students to submit uh, an application for. All the documents I would be able to provide to you later on by sending, by sharing emails. And uh, to, be, to, be, uh, to be careful about these, um, these scholarships is that First of all, it's on a rolling biases. So again, meaning that you should submit your application as soon as possible in order to be considered. We've reserved some quotas for different markets, but also still very limited. So, and uh, um, it's all open already. Um, we are currently running it already. So the earlier you submit your documents, the better. And the last one is the Nottingham the last one is the Nottingham Alumni Scholarship, and this is particularly for the master's level or PhD. For those who already studied previously with us, they then will be able to get a discount. So this is pretty much it about um, the University of Nottingham covering scholarships, how well, our selling points, and that's also um, why you should join us. Yeah. So. I'd also like to share with you a um, video to, 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 to let you know, have a look on our accommodation because we, I think it's better to show you in a, mo in a moving media, in a, in a movie to, about what the university facilities are look like. Which one is it? Um, It's about one, one minute and 30 seconds long. This is a private bedroom. Basically all students would be put in a private bedroom, but this set has a sh shared sitting room where they can sit together and chat. This is on campus high street with fruit shop, red shop, and many different types of shops. So you can, students can be accessible to the um, grocery store as well right on campus to miss walk right downstairs. International students stay in the international accommodation building, but they, if they want, they can also stay in domestic students accommodation as well, which would be uh, a little bit cheaper. So it's possible that the students will be meeting their roommates 
from different countries, like Thailand students staying with Swedish students. Yeah. And the good thing about our accommodation is that it's, it's guaranteed, it's reserved for the students, meaning that they can stay in the accommodation from the first day they register until the day they um, graduate if they didn't go for exchange or study abroad. Yeah. So any questions? I'm ready for questions now. A, uh, a general promotion video? Yes, um, I will be able to show you another one with um, basic information about us. This is the University General Promotional Media, about three minutes long. Okay, uh, not this one. Okay, I can move this. Hey, Haskell, it's a brand new name for this session. We are the first foreign university uh, in China. So we have the longest history to deliver Western education. We're extremely well embedded in the local community in what is actually quite a beautiful city. When students starting here in UNNC, they can taste British education plus a China local environment. A UK university in China, which is a lot better because it's not only I can practice. My English, I can also learn Chinese at the same time. It is the only place where you know for sure that everywhere you go, there's people who speak English, people who understand you. I think UNC is all about experience. Get out of your comfort zone. You get to discover more more independent. In this university, we have different experience, like uh, different knowledges, background, accents as well. This is really valuable. Here, it's more diverse. It's more about learning every day. You don't only learn from class, you learn from the people around you. Compared to the UK campus, we do have a better student and staff ratio which means that students have a better access to our staff. So they get a lot more nurturing, they get a lot more care. The professors are amazing. I mean, they come from all over the world. Their experienced teachers are very welcoming and they're very encouraging. In our, in our faculty, we have just under 100 staff. They come from about 40 different countries. You're taught by the same methods and to the same standards as you would if you went to the University of Nottingham in the UK. We really help develop new students worldwide to become a true global citizens. China is the world emerging power because of economics and technology. In UNC, we have what we call a research lab teaching, also practice lab teaching, where we apply our research in cultivating citizens in for future career pathways. It is a really life-changing experience. Like, I had the best year of my life in this university. If you're doing an English degree in China, China's a really exciting place. I mean, particularly for international students to see what's going on. China has everything, like online shopping, and then the food is very diverse. Watching a documentary was not enough. Reading a book is not enough. I had to come here by myself and see how it's done. Just go and try it yourself. It's um, anything else you would like to have a look? I also have our guide to which I can show you. This is one of the most important documents. Um, 
because we include the entry requirements here. So as you can see, um, this is a booklet with everything of our university, general information and uh, experiencing China, what our students say about it, courses available, because you need to make sure um, those programs are, are correctly written on the application form. So these um, programs marked with a star, meaning that this is this program has two plus two option that the students can go to the UK for the last two years for studying. And uh, this will be um, embedded within the program studying. And this is the master's program of programs available for now. Yeah. Even we ourselves always check it. And this is the international qualifications entry requirement. So uh, we can accept A level, IB, um, AP, SAT2, S and the SAT reasoning test, as well as the master's entry requirement. We, we look at 2-1 as a minimum for entering our master's programs. And meanwhile, students are also required to have, meet, have met our English language, language requirements. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to compete enough in understanding the courses um, taught in our university. So we look at ours and also can accept TOEFL, although we didn't list it here. This is a British university, as well as PTE. So um, minimum match requirement from the preliminary year will be ours 5.5 with writing five. And uh, for qualifying year and master's programs, most of the cases we accept ILS 6.5 with writing 6.0. And uh, the academic um, entry requirements will be various depending on the countries. So we've listed some of the most popular, uh, most uh, hot destinations for us, but you can always check with me for detailed entry requirements for particular countries. Malaysia, yeah. South Korea, yeah, Thailand as well, and Turkey, Tanzania. Yeah, this is how to apply information as well as um, the studying, how would we study and teach, and the career perspectives after graduation. We also provide uh, we also provide the um, career services. For example, we invite the companies to come into our university to recruit our students as interns or um, employers during, during the job fair. And PhD opportunities are also available. This is how to apply for PhD um, programs. Yeah, this is um, available facilities in our international students accommodation as well as um, support available on campus. We have a 24-hour clinic provide English service, so it's very convenient for the international students. And exchange partners are getting longer the list. At the time students, when they, at the time when the students come, new students coming, uh, joining us, the list will be longer, I believe. So this is it from my part. Anything else you'd like to be in contact with me? We also have the email addresses of our whole team listed here. So you're welcome to follow us on our social media or get in touch with us via email. Or if you have my WeChat, so WeChat, be fine. Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.